seems like when I first started buying paracord there was five or six colors you know there were probably more but that's what it seemed like but now you just take red alone and there's so many different colors bright red dark red pinkish red blood red I don't really know all the right names for them but royal red I guess but there's a whole bunch of different colors there's a, a new copper one don't know if there's any of those. There must be one in here somewhere. Copper color. And, uh, yeah, copper and white on the bottom one there. And it's really cool. I just enjoy coming up with a whole bunch of different combinations of colors. Most of these are the Cobra. That's what I mostly do. My daughter, she likes to branch out and do all the different types and styles and try everything new. I just like to mix the colors. We've had a lot of fun with it. We've been looking for something I don't have to invest a lot of money in. Well, we're working on some other financial goals. And for not a big investment, you can get a lot of fun at uh, making these bracelets. And we share them with people in the family. Um, nieces and nephews and whatnot. And my wife takes them to school and the kids love them. She's a teacher, so... It's a lot of fun. If you've been thinking about giving it a try, it's it's not a big investment. Just buy some cord. You don't have to buy the real paracord or whatever just for practicing or learning. And uh, it's fun. It's simple. And you don't necessarily have to make them for yourself. You can share them with other people. That's what I do with most of mine. I stick to mostly wearing just green and black and brown. I've got a few camel ones. Um, for me it's mostly about making them for other people though so they can enjoy.